Well, all right, how about a little GTO update? Coming around to the cabin. We have to dress some of these welds. But the patch panels are all in. Had really nice braces, fantastic rocker panels, inners and outers. I mean, real nice. So we didn't have to dub around those at all. Out front, the customer had supplied a flat firewall to clean that son of a gun up. Real nice heavy duty piece. Got that little son of a gun all in. A little bit of dressing to do, but by and large, the front part of the car is behind us. Onto the trunk and some wheel wells. All right, now that we're getting a little bit more set up, marking out our quick rough cuts, get the major hole open. Supported the center of the car, only in so much that once we pull away this trunk floor, we can get in there and start trimming off our edges. I don't want all the pressure to be on this back mount where this happy little rotisserie is hooked. I certainly don't want to twist or miss, have misshapen any of these little mounts. It's a nice little piece there and we certainly don't want to twist it. We want to have something to hook this new floor to. So in the name of being cautious, we installed a little center support system. We didn't take all the pressure off. We took most of the pressure off just to stabilize everything. Well, all right, the deed is done. The big piece of the trunk floor is down and out. <laughs> yeah, it gave up all it had. It was thoroughly used. We can see here that our quarter panel extensions are in really nice condition. We knew that we had to do some work on the inner wheelhouse, but we're going to be smartening those up here next. There's a little bit of, just a little bit of unhappiness on the bottom of this quarter panel. And we do have a piece for it. So now the trick is to just start sneaking up on these edges, getting them cleaned up. We'll be peeling away this back panel from its brace. Here we have just a, just a little bit of smartening up to do here, but you know, by and large, we have some really good bones to work with. We don't want to be creative at all. We have some nice patch panels to put in there or replacement panels, if you will. GTO saga continues. All right, good Tuesday morning. I think it's Tuesday. Yep, good Tuesday morning. Um, feeling a little better today. Late start between uh, just dragging and um, doing the, I just finished up a little paperwork for the uh, garage addition. I was kind of quoting out some jobs and doing that office sort of stuff. So that was a kind of a nice way to ease myself into today. So now, here we are. Um, same as you saw when we left off last night. I am again gonna say it. Wow, thank you guys. Um, we're like 20 subscribers right now. We're like 20 subscribers away from 500, which again, um, six days ago, I put a thing on my Facebook that, uh, you know, I was trying to push to 200 subscribers six days ago. Um, and I was trying to push to 200 from like, say 120, um, like seven days ago. So we were at like 120 subscribers, probably seven days ago, a week ago. And now here today, we're probably gonna hit 500. Um, our views are going crazy on videos. We have one over 9,000. 
which I say going crazy for us. 9,000 views on a video. There's a couple at, you know, two, 3,000. Um, we used to get 100 views, 300 we thought we were doing something crazy. Um, we had a couple older videos that we were like 1,000 and thought that was crazy. So now to be, you know, nearing 10,000 on some stuff and um, 500 subscribers just about. Uh, I think we're going to hit that 1,000 mark of followers that I want to hit by the end of the year. Probably a lot sooner than the end of the year. Um, but there goes that. Today I am going to try to hammer out, get at least a solid 98% of all of the body work done and primer on the bigger stuff. And then by the end of the day, if I can get the, uh, the roof, the top half of the car, if I get all that, all paint ready, um, I'd love to paint it today, tonight, tomorrow morning, the red anyway. Um, and then we'll probably kick this car out for a couple days, let the red set up good. Um, so we know we can tape off to it well, we can put the plastic on it to do the two-tone. Um, so we'll give it a day or two outside and we'll drag in a couple of the little run-of-the-mill projects. We also have to drag the Model A back in, get that wet sanded, buffed, and reassembled. Um, so you'll see this in here for today and maybe a little bit tomorrow. And then we're going to jump around for a minute and then this will come back in to wrap up and paint the black. So without further ado, I'm going to... Uh, get going. I'm going to grab the DA with some 80 grit, start feathering out some spots I ground out that need some filler. Um, I'll get the filler in there and get that setting up and we'll start trying to finalize the shape on this quarter panel here and below the door. Uh, and then we just still have a lot of sanding. I can jump up and attack the roof while I got stuff driving, uh, drying. So yeah, we're going to start jumping around. So, all right. Thanks guys. Okay, so what you've just seen us do, we knocked down that fiberglass right there so we can give it a little skim of Bondo. That there is all sanded down, blocked out. We have a couple little spots we want to fix down and around here and maybe a little around there. I think the rest of that's all pretty damn close. Um, we've got these corners fiberglassed and Bondoed, feathered out. All that's ready for primer. We'll crack those in there, all ground out, feathered out, fiberglass, bondoed, feathered out, ready for primer. These spots are ready for primer. And um, 
we started in sanding on the roof. So, I think our next step is going to be to get all the spots that are going to need primer. Um, like we got some chips up there. There's a chip in that fender. We got all these spots that we just walked around and looked at. I believe this door over here, the door has a, a bubble that we're going to have to probably just grind glass and bondo. Um, and then that'll be ready for primer. So I think what I'm going to try to do is get everything ready for primer and um, get it primed. And then I'm thinking what I may do later this afternoon slash night is get the tops of the doors painted. If I open them up and tape everything right, I can do inside and out on the tops of the doors. Um, and then I will paint, I'm thinking I'm gonna pull the trunk off and put it on a stand, paint the inside of the trunk and the trunk jam. So if I paint those, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, if I do those like three things painted together, um, and then I can, while I'm at it, I can paint the uh, latch that came in for the Model A. And that'll put us in a good place for being able to sand, final sand, seal, and paint the whole outside of the roof, outside of the trunk, tops of quarters, etc. Um, tomorrow. And then that'll just leave us with, like I said, letting the car set up for a couple days and we'll be able to come back and respray all the black. So there's our, our midday recap of where we're at. All right guys, so, um, <clears throat> Update on how our day is going. We have, you saw where we're at with the car. We went and um, filed our building permit for our addition in our shop. So that's real. That's dropped off, that's paid for. I should have the actual permit Thursday of this week. Um, and it's looking like we'll be able to break ground anytime with the weather we're having. Because now that we've decided we're doing it, we're gonna do it so we're gonna get right on that um, as far as YouTube an update on that where I said uh, you know how quickly it's been taking off quickly for us uh, we are at geez I don't know let me um, we are at 495 subscribers um, I don't remember what we were at the beginning of this video this morning but I know I was saying, I was hoping we'd hit 500. Um, looks like we're gonna hit 500 today. Seems to jump up a few subscribers every hour or so. Um, and I mean, nine and a half thousand views on one of the latest videos here. So um, that's awesome. Very excited about that. Very excited about the addition. This car's coming along great. Um, where we're at right now is we have ground down the spot on the door that I said was a bubble that was probably the same thing as the rest of the car, just little bubbles of old filler. That's what it was, we ground that down. We have some fiberglass in it. Um, same thing on the bottom of the fender right here. There's a little spot, kind of like our rocker. With those few spots, once that uh, fiberglass is um, set up, We'll knock that down and we'll get a skim of Bondo. Shouldn't take more than one little skim coat. Um, and at that time, we'll skim what I said here on the uh, quarter panel. This corner. This corner is a little weird still um, between the old fillers and our new filler and the patch and just blending that in that one little spot I'm still not 100% um, with. But that being said, we're like an hour away with all that. Um, we should be throwing some primer on all those spots. This fender, that rocker, this quarter, the spots on the back of the quarters around the taillights, the spot on the trunk, and the spot on the uh, other quarter, and the spot on the door on the driver's side. All those spots that are getting 
um, primed should be getting primed within an hour or so. Um, that's going to put us at uh, it's two two forty now. Um, so I mean we'll be priming by four. So maybe uh, you know let that primer set up and as a after dinner time mission. Uh, maybe we'll get the tops of the doors inside and out and the door jams painted. Um, the new color as well as the trunk jam and the inside of the trunk. Maybe we'll do that tonight. Um, but, it, but if not tonight, it'll be something we'll do, you know, fairly soon tomorrow. I'd like to do it tonight um, because I would like to be getting ready and painting the rest of the top of the car tomorrow. And then, like I said, this car can get kicked out for a minute, shuffle a couple other things through. We need to buff and reassemble the Model A. Um, so that's where I'd like to be tomorrow, whether it's early tomorrow, late tomorrow. By the end of Wednesday, I'd like this, the all of the red painted on the car. Um, and all of the major body work and everything on the black pretty much ready to go, ready for paint um, by the end of tomorrow. So. Right after I got done priming, did the old check on our YouTube. And uh, we just hit 500 subscribers here at uh, 3.45 Tuesday afternoon. So I walked over to the bridge, grab a beer, and uh, guess what the cap tells me? Cap tells me that a hard day's work deserves a beer. Well, I guess our hard days <clears throat> 
plural of work with um, working on the cars, working on building our business, working on building our YouTube channel, pays off and deserves a beer. So cheers to all of you watching, cheers to all these subscribers. Thank you for making it a uh, 500 in such a short period of time. Um, really, really appreciate it. I can't say it enough. Um, thanks for watching. We're gonna get some more primer on this car and uh, keep right on it going, but I'm gonna have this little celebratory beer of 500 subscribers. Thanks again. All right, guys. Um, we're at two coats of primer here on everything we said we were gonna prime. I'm gonna go one more good heavy coat of primer. I'm gonna let that set up for a bit. Um, probably uh, clean up some tools, maybe have some dinner. And then um, I'm gonna pull this trunk, get it on the stand, get the inside ready and the jam ready for paint. The tops of the doors with all the running around earlier I did, I didn't show it, I don't think. Um, but I started in on scuffing those down, getting those ready for uh, color change. So really floor space here. I work with 20 wide and 24 deep. Yeah, I have this opening that I'm actually standing in right now into the 10 foot addition, but I don't really have a wide open 20 by 34, which I will have in the addition. Um, that being said, I'm not painting in a paint booth. Everything I do, I'm expected to have to buff um, if I want it, you know, dust free. Uh, there was a fellow that commented earlier, I will readdress him in tomorrow's video because he had some great questions on um, what I'm using for paint guns, what I'm doing to prep the shop for paint and when I paint. Um, so I'll, I'll address some of that stuff tomorrow. Um, as for today, I just wanted to kind of give a quick rundown of that's the greatest thing for you guys, I guess, that are doing this at home is I'm doing this in a shop like yours. Um, I have a DeWalt compressor, I have a Craftsman welder, I have a lot of snap-on tools, but I have a lot of Harbor Freight tools. And, um, and I just, I do what I can with what I have. If I need something, I generally get it. Um, but yeah. Tomorrow, I will, uh, spray guns, I do. I do have some nicer spray guns. Um, there's some other guys that I, that I watch on YouTube that, oh, I like cheap gun and throw it away and whatever. Yeah, you can do that. You're doing a little single stage paint job in your garage, hell, in your driveway, whatever. Sure, um, go for it. I intend on improving my painting area the new addition is going to be a oversized um, homemade paint booth. I will have to do some work in there because I'm not going to be able to do everything in here. But I'm going to generally have that as the cleaner area. That being said, I'll have a little better air to spray. I do have nicer guns. Um, I'm not brand specific. I have a few different brands. Um, I'll go over that tomorrow. And as for today, like I said, um, we're just gonna do another coat of primer on here in a bit and um, get some stuff cut in and painted. Um, yeah, great day, happy with the progress on the car, very happy with all you guys and your comments and your subscriptions and um, your likes and your views. Can't thank you enough. Um, you know, in the comments, like the gentleman said, he wanted to know what I was doing for um, shop paint prep and guns. If there's anything you guys want to see um, or a question I can answer, I'll try to answer it. Maybe wrong, maybe right, but I'll give you my answer. That's all I can do. Um, or I may have a few different answers. I have, may have a few different ways to go about it. But uh, yeah, this is what's going to happen now. We're going to pull the uh, trunk off. Go ahead and start getting that prepped up for paint. Um, as I said earlier, I'd really like to get the inside of the trunk, the trunk jam, and the tops of the doors that will be color, not black, that'll be, that's currently silver, that's going to be red, uh, inside and out on the doors, and the top of the door jam that's currently silver, that's going to be red. 
really like to get that stuff uh, painted tonight, but bare minimum, we're gonna get the deck lid off and start getting stuff prepped up. Um, first day of baseball for uh, my mini me, so wife and kid are off at that. So I'm gonna pull a late shift and uh, get a little extra done.